Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar. The top auto insurance companies in America all advertise savings. If you just switch to their insurance policy, you could save an average of hundreds of dollars. But there's a logical paradox with this. Imagine you're at the top auto insurance company. You can then switch to another company for an average savings of $650. You might then switch to another company for an average savings of $468. But why stop there? You continue switching for an average savings of $500, and then you go back to your original company and you can save another average of $554. This is of course logically not possible. So how is it that every company can offer savings when switching from one of its competitors? So here's one reason why. A company may be selecting its customers carefully. Out of all the customers, they may be researching that some group of them will be a lower risk and it's an untapped market. So they can offer lower premiums to customers they believe are lower risk. Another reason is there may be a change in coverage. One company may be offering you something the equivalent of fine dining and the other will be offering you a brown bag lunch. These are of course not the same types of coverage. The lower price might come from lower limits, increased deductibles, car changes, or other possible discounts. But a final issue is a selection sampling bias. Let's take a look at one of the claims of switching and saving an average of $554. If you read the fine print, it says that savings are based on new customers who reported savings by switching? So they're only taking a sample of customers who already said they saved money. To illustrate this another way, it's not a random sample. You have all these customers and maybe some of them will switch to the new company. They then ask the new customers, which ones of you saved money by switching to this new policy? Some of them reported they did save. Then they said, all right, well, how much money did you save? They said, we saved an average of $554. So it's not truly a random sample of all customers who switched. It's a sample bias. So experts recommend if you do want to save money on your auto insurance, here's some of the steps you could take. Talk to your current agent about discounts, get multiple quotes and compare apples to apples. Also investigate discounts like combining with home insurance. And always be aware of phony numbers. By the way, did you know 100% of people like this video? Based on average response of people who reported they like this video, mind your decisions. Information presented is for education purposes only and does not substitute for proper financial advice or common sense. No one should take any of this too seriously. Really? Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.